All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with my May 2015 update video for, you guessed it, May 2015. Woo. So yeah, I'm trying something a little new with the GoPro, and yes, I am re still recording this on my GoPro. Um, I decided to kind of narrow the aspect a little bit so it looks a little less fisheye-y. And uh, just trying out something new, so uh, yeah, if you guys like it, you know, let me know. If you don't, that's cool. <laughs> you can let me know in the comments too. So um, yeah, uh, I was watching one of Jake Knowlton's videos and he said that, you know, he doesn't really like the GoPro look. It's just, it's too weird looking and stuff like that. So I decided to try something a little different, you know, just kind of break out of the usual GoPro fisheye sort of thing. And plus it doesn't really work too well indoors anyway, so. You know, it is what it is. But anyway, uh, getting to the monthly update -y, update -y stuff. So as always with my monthly update videos, I'm gonna be covering youtube -y stuff as well as personal life stuff. And man, <laughs> do I got a lot to talk about with my personal life. But first, YouTube. So um, right now I'm rendering the 100th episode of Annie Japandi, my series about my life here in Japan. And it's a little bit different from what I think you guys are expecting. And uh, I think you guys are gonna like it. Um, really uh, put a good amount of effort into it. And just, you know, a lot of uh, thought and stuff went into it, even though I kind of ramble and um and ah a lot. But it was, it's a good uh, insight to, you know, what makes me, me and stuff like that. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, next little bit is my trip to Harajuku. Now, I normally don't go around Harajuku that much. It's usually extremely crowded. And it's not really my scene, you know, it's mostly for like girl shopping and stuff like that. So I don't normally go in that area. But uh, I decided to take you guys on a little tour down to Keshta Street, which is the uh, really popular area in Harajuku with a lot of shops and stuff like that. And I decided to strap this GoPro to my head and walk around. So uh, that video is going to be coming out very soon and I hope you guys uh, tune in and I hope you enjoy it. So yeah. Uh, but the main thing I want to talk to you guys about as far as uh, youtube -y stuff is First Impact Anime, Second Impact. So yeah, finally got around to editing those episodes and I know they've been on the hiatus for frickin' ever. But um, yeah, work schedule is what it is. <laughs> so. Um, as of this recording, I have five episodes already rendered. I think in my previous video I said I had six, but I miscounted, it's actually five. I'm gonna to try to knock out uh, a couple more episodes here in a bit, but uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, as of this recording, I have five episodes already rendered, ready to go, and two of the episodes are already out. So hopefully you guys tuned in and enjoyed them. Um, really excited to finally be getting this project out so that way you guys can see it and enjoy it hopefully if it's good <laughs> uh, so yeah I expect more episodes to be coming out soon and that's pretty much all I got for YouTube stuff so let me readjust myself here so we can get into the nitty-gritty the personal life stuff and like I said I got a lot to talk about on that front so yeah <laughs> This isn't really easy for me to say. It's uh, it's a very difficult thing because I know a lot of people are going to have uh, opinions and feelings about it, uh, mostly negative. Well, from the uh, little peanut gallery, stuff like that. But um, it's definitely something I want to address, man up to, I guess. So um, I found out earlier this week that I'm going to be um, separated from the Navy and be discharged. So um, basically this discharge came about due to my weight. Um, I failed my third PRT this past cycle, my third one. I thought that my first failure back in 2011 had dropped off, but we did the math and I was like 10 days away. So we did the PRT this cycle in April but the one in 2011 was done in May, so I missed it by like 10 days. So, um, it is what it is, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, go on a tirade about, you know, negative things about the Navy or my command or anything like that. You know, it's, it's my fault. 
it is what it is, you know. I'm a grown-ass man. I'll admit it. I fucked up. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just paying the price for it. But, um, it's not all somber and gloomy and doomy and stuff. I do have plans for myself, you know, post-Navy, as I've been talking to you guys about for, like, the past couple years now. Um, I plan on going back to college. Now, um, I am going to be sticking around, uh with the ship until about September-ish, I've calculated. Because I still have to go to like transition class and I gotta fly out and med do like the, my medical checkout and all this other stuff's gotta happen. So um, I'll be sticking around until September. So that's good. Gonna give me a couple extra paychecks and then, you know, head back to USS Couch in Ohio. Um, but not for long, because I hope to uh, start college as soon as I can. Now, I know most colleges, uh, their fall semester starts in around late August, early September. So I'm hoping to uh, be accepted into a university as soon as possible and um, stuff like that. So I'm going to start filling out my college applications and all that jazz. And... Uh, see where it goes from there so uh, hopefully i can get in uh this year 2015 if you guys are watching in the future greetings <laughs> so hopefully i can get in this year if not then uh, i'll try again for uh next semester so it'll be winter 2016. so hopefully i could get in then you know time constraints and everything permitting so uh, the two universities that i'm looking into at the time of this recording is first uh, Western Michigan in lovely Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, and second is OSU, Ohio State. So both schools are really pro-veteran and they have a lot of great programs to help uh, vets get back on their feet and get to college and help cover expenses that the GI Bill may not cover or may only partially cover so, um, really, uh, I'm really excited to be starting a new chapter in my life. And, yeah, it's sad to, you know, not only leave Japan, but to leave the Navy, which is, you know, something I've been in for almost five years now. Next month will be my five-year anniversary in the Navy. It's hard to believe I've been at this for five years, huh? So, um, yeah, it's going to be very, very cool to be starting a new chapter in my life and I remember I don't know if you guys remember this was a long long time ago so you might have to dig back into the archives <laughs> for this one but I remember making a video and it was the video I made right before the day before I left for boot camp and I was sitting uh, by the uh, by the spillway in my hometown Salina Ohio represent <laughs> um, and I was just contemplating about, you know, the, the nervousness, but the excitement of starting over, starting a new life. And I knew that joining the Navy would be the beginning of something new and something great. And I'm happy to say five years later, it has been, and it is, you know. I've seen so much in my five years in. I've been to so many different places, met so many interesting people. And, you know, this discharge can't take me away from that. You know, they can't discharge me from my experiences. But um, I'm just really, uh, really grateful for all the opportunities, you know, the Navy has given me. And I'm really excited to be starting a new chapter in my life. Going back to school, getting my learn on, and uh, just moving on from there. You know, maybe getting, you know, a job, internship somewhere or something. I haven't quite figured out what my post-college life will be, but you know, hey, we have time, so we'll get to that. <laughs> but um, I really hope you guys join me on my uh, my new adventures uh, back in the States. Um, I, yes, I am going to be continuing to make videos, so you don't have to worry about me, you know, getting back to the States and stopping making videos. I've been at this for almost 10 years, guys, so I, th I think I have a pretty good track record. Because I know there's a lot of J vloggers out there who, when they go back to their home country or go to another country or something like that, they just stop making videos. 
not everybody, but a good percentage of people. So um, I'm not gonna be one of those people. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I really enjoy doing YouTube. And like I said, I've been at it for almost 10 years now. So I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. But if I do decide to quit, I will definitely be sure to let you guys know. I think it's, you know, the least I can do. But, you know, I have no plans to stop in anytime soon. So, <laughs> you guys don't have to worry about that. But, you know, uh, I just want to thank you guys for, uh, for being so supportive of me and uh, the different uh, things that I do. Because I know this channel can get kind of random at times. You know, it's not just, you know, me being the Navy guy, doing the Navy thing and only talking about the Navy or me being the Japan guy doing the Japan thing in Japan talking about Japan you know I like to I like to mix it up you know I like to you know yeah do the Japan thing yeah do the Navy thing but also you know just talk about other random shit <laughs> you know I like I like the freedom of my channel doing that you know maybe I talk about something about my life or maybe there's a video out there that I think is pretty interesting I and you know I kind of add my own opinion or my own take to it or just whatever you know I like the openness and the sometimes randomness of my channel so uh, I just want to thank you guys for uh, supporting that so I think that'll do for uh, for this little update video uh, expect more stuff on the horizon and uh, the way only uh, direction from here on out is forward and that said this is the end song sad for now thinking you guys boop for tuning into my videos and watching my other stuff. Also gotta thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.